said the next talk is breakthrough bottle breakthrough the bottlenecks of obs word io by using smart nics and bdpa offload Hi, all. my name is Yi Yang from Municipal Cloud. Municipal Cloud is a China-based cloud provider focuses on government cloud market. In this topic, I will talk about how we break through OS and water performance bottlenecks by using Mellanox Connect X6 SmartNIC and scalable function and VDPA. First, I will explain OS and WTO bottlenecks, then show you some feasible solutions to them. Second, I will talk about hardware offload technologies, including SmartNIC, VDPA, Scalable Function, as well as how we enabled them in OpenStack. Third, I will compare performance data we have gotten from NormalNIC and SmartNIC, and show you some future jobs we will do. At last, I will demonstrate my OpenStack environment and do performance test and get performance data. You know, OS uses escape struct to transfer packets in Linux kernels. Uh, frankly speaking, SKB is not so CPU cache friendly. The whole match and take actions process is not lightweight. It is driven by interrupt, especially for small packets, forwarding performance is not good enough. OS uses uh, TAMP interface and WTO interface spec to communicate with the uh, virtual machine. WTO is a memory copy based virtual input output standard. Linux kernel, thread, vhost, and case of the RQD do packet receive and transmit. Basically, when RXTXQ corresponds to a vhost kernel thread and the case of the RQD thread, these two kernel threads will consume CPU resources to handle memory copy based receive and transmit. And the OS kernel data pass, single queue VTL does have performance scaling, especially when you run iPerf or iPerf3 to do single thread PPS test, you will see super large CPU utilization for vhost kernel thread and the case of the RQD thread. For multi queue case, it will consume more CPU resources because every queue will have a vhost thread and a case of the RQD thread. So VTL performance is at the expense of CPU resources. It is not cost efficient in cloud use scenario. It is also unacceptable in large scale cloud production system. Uh, this picture illustrates uh, vhost copies packets from vm to vms. This picture shows functions vhost kernel thread code or send side, i.e. iPerf client or Linux kernel package gen script. You can see OS functions, IP tables, and Coltrack are major CPU consumers. This picture shows functions vhost kernel thread code or receive side, i prof server side. Port spots are different. Here, uh, this picture shows functions case of the IQD code or receive side. This picture shows uh, CPU utilizations in compute node when we VM uses Linux kernel package gen script to run 10TX um, threads. You can see vhost kernel threads have very high CPU utilization, but all receive side CPU utilization 
isn't that high. If we use the IPOF to do multi-queue, multi-thread test with a 16TX thread, the result is different. Here, the CPU utilization is very high. Our receiver side, we can see case of the IQ D kernel thread have very high CPU utilization. Here, let me show you the best performance that OBS and WTO can reach. The highest PPS I can get by using IPOF3 is about 170,000. This is the maximum value single thread TX can reach, but for AWS M5 instance, it can reach 397, uh, 95,000. Ali Cloud ECS can reach 450,000. Both of them use SmartLink developed by them themselves to do hardware upload. Actually, we can improve PPS by some existing solutions. For OS kernel data pass, we can use OS DBDK. PPS performance improvement is uh, quite remarkable, but OS DBDK must use dedicated CPU cores. These CPU cores will be consumed 100%, even if no traffic is there, especially for 25 gigabit nit or above. OS DBDK will occupy more CPU cores. It isn't cost efficient. Only virtual networking consumes so many CPU resources. Naturally, people prefer to use hardware offload to free these precious CPU resources in computer load. Uh, this has been a de facto standard most of cloud providers are using. OS also can do this by TC Clover in kernel data paths. Developer call it TC data path. It is totally different from legacy kernel data path because TC Flower can be fully or hardware offloaded to Smart Lake. For example, Mellanox Connector X6, <coughs> Metronome Agilio 6. OS DBK also can use RT Flow to do this. For WTL, we have many methods to improve it. We can change OpenStack Nova config to use a host CPU model for QEMU. We can change Nova config to use vCPU pin. We can change OpenStack flavor to use huge page for VM. These methods can improve WTL performance, but not that remarkable. A kernel boot parameter mitigations uh, equals off. It can improve WTO very significantly. This parameter actually improves uh, VM kernel performance. In addition, our compute node side, we can use uh, vhost net kernel module option, experimental zero copy TX equals one. Uh, this is disabled by default. If enabled, we also can see very large uh, performance improvement. Of course, uh, the best method is VDPA and SmartLink. VDPA is an acronym of VTO Data Play Acceleration. It is specially used to accelerate VTO by hardware. SmartLink with VDPA capability is just such a hardware device. SmartLink uh, can offload VXLAN in camp, decamp, and can offload TC data pass. Some uh, uh, smartly can offload connection trunk CT. For example, Mellanox Connect X6 DX. It also can offload N80 uh, network address translation. VDPA 
uh, decouples uh, what air control play and the data play. It also standard uh, VF or SF control play and the data play. Uh, this is really a huge technical progress. That means the VM can use the VF or SF to accelerate virtual network, but the VM is still using standard vtl uh, net driver for all the VFs and uh, SFs. No matter they are Mellanox, Natronome, Broadcom, or whatever else. To be important, we can live migrate such VM and before, that is to say, we can have SIOE performance, but we are using VTL and uh, we can do live migration. That is why VDPA matters. Of course, the prerequisite is your smart link, multiple VDPA. Uh, there must be a VDPA driver for your smart link. Now, so far, only Mellanox, Alibaba, and Intel VDPA drivers are available in the test, latest uh, Linux kernel tree. This picture illustrates uh, VDPA architecture. Uh, the bottom layer is a VDPA is a VDPA device. Uh, it is inside our smart link. Uh, the middle layer is a VDPA subsystem in Linux kernel. VDPA framework provides a unified VTO control play interface for the top layer QMU. Different VDPA drivers uh, are part of VDPA subsystem. With the VDPA subsystem's help, VTO data play can be fully uploaded into SmartLink VF or SF. What RX and TX memory copy will be done by DMA controller in SmartNIC. That frees all CPU resources occupied by vhost kernel thread. Actually, for hardware VDPA, no vhost thread there. Here, let me introduce a scalable function. SF is a concept brought by Mellanox. You can imagine it as a lightweight VF, but it is different from VF. SF is created or deleted or demand one by one, but all the VFs are created once. SF has its own capabilities and resources. For example, you can customize number of TX and X queues. These queues are ex exclusively used by this SF, not shared with other SFs or VFs. It also has dedicated window in PCI bus days, no special build settings for SF. Isn't SRLV? SF can coexist with SRLV. That means you can have SFs, VFs, and PFs at the same time for one NIC port. You know, uh, VF is a PCI device. It has a PCI address, but SF isn't a PCI device. It shares PCI level resources with its parent PCI device, such as PCI MSIX in IRQs. Here uh, you can see SF is uh, an auxiliary bus device. It has VDPA port, uh, NetDev port, and RDMA port. PF or VF also can have these ports. In this section, I will talk about uh, how we enable SF and VDPA in OpenStack environment. Uh, first, you have to install latest software. Linux kernel must be uh, 5.17 or above. Mellanox OFED package must be uh, this or above. SmartNIC must be uh, Mellanox ConnectX 6 LN or DX or Bluefield DPU. QMU must be 
6.2.0 of ARM and must enable VD, uh, vhost VDPA because QMU uses uh, this interface to interoperate with the VDPA subsystem uh, in Linux kernel. Libvot must be H2.0 or above. IPRU2 must uh, use IPRU2 next git tree to install. A new command line to VDPA is available only in this git tree. Neutral, neutral lib with uh, plug OS and NOVA, this software must have some patches uh, from Shaw Mooney. I have two hacking patches to support the SF. I have uploaded these patches into my Git, tree, uh, Git repo. You can get them if needed. For Linux kernel, you must include uh, um, these configurations. Uh, you can download the Melanox OFED package from this link um, for your Linux kernel distribution version. Uh, you must uh, code reboot your server after installing uh, OFED. In addition, uh, Melanox drivers OFED installed cannot support a scalable function. So you have to use drivers from Linux kernel installation. This command can enable SF. You also must code reboot your server after this step. Uh, you need to follow this link to end UDV rules for removing SF representer port and SF auxiliary device that they port. Uh, there is a new command line to VDPA. This command is used to uh, manage a VDPA device. After uh, install KMU libwatt and patch in Neutron Nova you need to restart Neutron Server, Neutron Agent, and Nova Services. Then you can use uh, this command uh, to enable switch dev mode. Uh, then use uh, these commands to end uh, SF. Uh, then load the VDPA kernel modules. Remove uh, unnecessary uh, port, RDMA port, and NetDev port, uh, then and uh, VDPA device by this command. Then you can uh, create an OpenStack port with a VDPA type. MAC address must be that MAC uh, set by Melanox config tool. Security group and the port security group must be disabled because uh, current smart MAC only can partially offload some city states. Security group and the port security will dramatically degrade the performance. Uh, then you can use uh, these commands to create VMs. These two VMs uh, will use SF and VDPA you created just now. Here, uh, let's look at performance data. In this table, uh, fourth column is number of TX threads or number of TX CPU cores. Second column is uh, now offload PPS. It is a PPS performance debt for normal NIC. This NIC is still Melanox uh, Connect X6 LM. We just disabled the hardware offload, disabled VDPA, disabled SF. All the software is the same, including test tools, Linux kernel, KMU, libvot, etc. We used the uh, Linux kernel package gen script to send the package because iProf isn't a good tool to get performance for multi-queue and multi-thread. 
uh, third column and uh, fourth column are performance dead for um, hardware offload. In the pin offload case, we also pin physical cores to VMV CPU cores in order that we can get stable performance dead. Last column is ideal performance dead if we assume hardware offload is linearly scalable per Q's or T's CPU cores. Let's check a second line performance dead. This is the result for single thread, single queue. Normonic only has about 200,000, but Smartnic can surpass 450,000, even higher. It has been beyond the best in industry, AWS and AliCloud. AWS only has 395,000, Alibaba Cloud is 450,000. Let's uh, look at uh, line chart. Normal non offload leak isn't uh, linearly scalable, right? especially when the number of CPU cores reaches 7 or above. You can see performance debt is going down. Maybe this is a memory bottleneck because my memory controller has four channels. I only have one memory dim for every CPU. Uh, this server has two CPUs. Every CPU has eight physical cores. Hyper thread has been disabled. Uh, maybe cross numeral node memory access is another issue. For offload cases, you can see almost uh, uh, same trend. I indeed uh, got uh, 700,000 PPS in another server, the 16 vCPU VM for hardware offload case. But unfortunately, that server is occupied by other group. I cannot reuse it and uh, reproduce PPS test anymore. Here, let me show the performance date. I have uh, got error here, you can see. Hmm. Uh, in the future, uh, we will verify live migration. Uh, you know, current uh, OpenStack cannot do live migration for SF. I will uh, hack OpenStack Nova to support this. For core track uh, offload issue, I asked uh, Melanox guy. They did support this with JD.com deal for uh, JD Cloud, but current Smartnik only can support part of CP states. I will investigate this further and try my best to fix it. In addition, I will make sure Kata container also can use SF. We will rule out this in our production environment. Whereas we have fixed all the issues in the near future. Now it's a time to demonstrate. Here uh, is a SF interface. Yeah. Your PC address is its parent PC device. Here is the MAC address. Uh, this is a corresponding VDP device. Here uh, we have loaded VDPA modules. Uh, 
And here is a uh, uh, SFO represent a port interface is ended to uh, always. This is a uh, uh, VM port. Here we have uh, enabled uh, hardware offload. That's true. This is another computer list. Here we also enable the hardware upload. Let's show VM. You can see VM02 VDPA1, VM03 VDPA2. This is a VDPA1 VM. Let's uh, log into this VM. Here you can see both names, VM and here we um, show VDPA two VM. Let's into this VM. Here you can see VM names, right? So VM 03 VDPA2. Here uh, I use a script to get a TPS because it's for multi QMAT thread. I probably is not good for this. Here is a one thread, one TXT. Uh, let's run. Let's send it back to script. Here you can see it's a TPS or receive side. Uh, it's not stable because uh, you you know. It's not a uh, pin CPU. You can see no uh, the host thread and no IP thread, you know, because uh, everything is offloaded to NIC. Uh, okay, because the uh, time is uh, run out of, so I'm done. Uh, thank you. If you um, have time, you can watch uh, this demo later. Thank you. Bye.
So let's thank our speaker. So one question that came uh, was which which exact Mellanox card was being used for this? I think the speaker's online. Ayan, you are in line if you can accept the invitation to speak. I think Maj already said connect X6 DX. This is what you wrote in the slide. Okay, good. Thank you. I missed that part. Connect X6 DX was being used, the NVIDIA Mellanox card.